the Wish Tree, written by Keo McClear, illustrated by Chris Turnham. Charles wanted to find a wish tree. His brother said, There is no such thing. His sister said, There is no such thing. But Charles said, What do you think, Boggin? And Boggin thought, Surely there was such a thing. So the next morning, Charles and Boggin set forth. His brother said, Bring a map. His sister said, Don't forget a compass. But Charles and Boggin were already well on their way into the woods. La dee da dee da dee da, sang Charles. Wish, sang Boggin. They had the whole day ahead of them, the whole day to find a wish tree. Up to the top of a hill they climbed, and down, down to a frosty meadow they slid. Where Charles went, Boggin followed. Where Boggin went, Charles followed. Charles and Boggin did not see the wish tree, but they did see... Squirrel! who was puzzling over how to get some hazelnuts to his home. Hold on tight. la dee da dee da dee da sang Charles. Whish, sang Boggin. So long, squirrel. Slow, slow through the snow they went, and hush, hush, Past Bear's Den, they crept. Where Charles went, Boggin followed. Where Boggin went, Charles followed. They did not see a wish tree anywhere. But they did see... Beaver, who was busy gathering birch wood to bring to his lodge. Let's go! La dee da dee da dee da, sang Charles. Wish, sang Boggin. Bye bye, Beaver. Slide, glide, across the ice they slipped, past a few logs and around a bend. Where Charles went, Boggin followed. Where Boggin went, Charles followed. The wish tree was nowhere to be found, but they did find Fox, who was late getting berries to her burrow. Load em up. La dee da dee da dee da, sang Charles. Wish, sang Boggin. Keep warm, Fox. Now they had less than half the day ahead of them, less than half the day to find a wish tree. We may need to move a little faster, Boggin, said Charles. Charles and Boggin were moving very slowly now. Their shadows were growing longer. The whole day was almost behind them. Boggin? Charles said, I am tired. I cannot search any longer. Shh, whispered Boggin. When Charles awoke, it was snowing. It was snowing on Squirrel, and it was snowing on Beaver, and it was snowing on Fox, and it was snowing on everyone. For a moment, Charles could not see through the falling snow. But then he said, Oh, look. C. 
see Boggin? said Charles. Just as we thought. And Boggin said, Wish. Charles wrote his wish on a piece of paper and tied it around a branch of the wish tree. The snow was falling more gently now. The animals had prepared a night feast with hazelnut souffle, a pot of birch tea, and biscuits made of berries. Charles and Boggin celebrated with their friends until it was time to be on their way. The moon was glowing brightly. la di da di da di sang Charles. Wish, sang Boggin, all the way home. The end. What do you think Charles wrote on his piece of paper? Hope you enjoyed this story read by me, Star. Until next time, keep reading.